Hi all, welcome to Cast Channel. My name is Ratna Kishore. This is the third video in the series of Python for class 11. In this video, I will mainly discuss about various number data types in Python. Number data types are used to store numerical values only. Mainly, there are three different types of data types in Python for number storage int for integer numbers, float for floating point numbers, complex for the complex numbers. Python also supports bool data type for storing the boolean values, actually which is the subtype of integer data type. Now I am considering assignment operator. The assignment operator equal to symbol is used to create the variables of specific type and also to assign some values to them. Here the syntax for the assignment is variable name to the left side of the equal to symbol and right side we have to use the value that is to be assigned to that variable. And then I am introducing a built in function in python that is type. This function is used to return the type of the given variable. Now let me consider the integers first. So integers are the real numbers without fractional values. Now I am giving various example integer literals. 25 is an integer, 0 is an integer. Note that integers can be either positive numbers or negative numbers. So that's why the negative 100 can be considered as integer. Now I will show various examples practically using interactive mode that is at the command prompt. To enter into the python command prompt, I am using python as the command. Now I am taking a variable number 1 and then I am assigning a value 100 to it. I am taking another variable number 2 and then I am assigning another value negative 25 to it. Then if you want to get the value present in that number 1, we can use number 1 at the command prompt. Then we can get the value in number 1 variable that is 100. Then we can use the type function to get the data type of that particular variable then I am using type function with number 1 as input variable for that function. Then if I press enter then automatically I got int as the type of this number 1. In the same way I am using the type function to get the type of number 2 variable. Now also I got the type as integer. Guys don't worry about the class here. Actually everything in python is an object, so that's why we got a class here. For now remember the int is the type of this particular variable that is integer. Next I am considering floating point numbers. And floating point numbers are the numbers with decimal point in it. Example floating point literals are 23.4, 2.3e3 where 2.3e3 is the another literal where the floating point number is represented by using scientific notation. Then 2.3e3 is equivalent to 2.3 into 10 power 3 and then negative 100.0 can be also considered as a floating point number. Here the floating point numbers are also either positive numbers or negative numbers. Now I will show various examples practically in the interactive mode. Now I am considering a variable n1 and then I am storing a floating point number into it that is 24.72 then if I use n1 then automatically I will get the value present in that n1 variable then I want to get the type of n1 variable then I am using the type function to get the type of that n1 variable then I got float as the type of that n1 variable now I want to use the scientific notation to represent a floating point number for that I am using another variable n2 then I am using a value 2.3 e3. Then if you display the value of n2, then you will get 2300.0. Then the type of this n2 variable will be obviously float. Then we got the float as the type of n2 variable. Next I am considering complex numbers. The complex numbers are the numbers which will be in the form of a plus ib where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part of that complex number i is equal to square root of negative 1. Now I am giving various examples for the complex numbers. 
in python imaginary pot can be represented by using j that means if you consider 2 plus 3j as the complex number where 2 is the real pot and 3 is the imaginary pot and here if you observe the next example in this complex number 2.5 is the real pot of this number negative 4 is the imaginary pot of this number and in this third literal the real pot is 0 and the imaginary pot of this particular complex number is negative 100. Now we will see various examples practically in the interactive mode. So, now I am considering a variable c1 and then I am storing a value 2 minus 3j into it. That means c1 is now having a complex number with a real pot 2 and the imaginary pot is negative 3. Then if I display c1 then I will get 2 minus 3j as the complex number into it. Then I want to get the type of c1 with the type function then I got the complex as the data type of that c1. Let me consider another example where I am taking a variable c2 and then I am loading 1.5j into it. That means this particular complex number is having only imaginary pot there is no real pot that is the real pot is 0 in it. And then type of that c2 will return the complex as the type of that c2 variable. Finally, I am going to consider the boolean data type. So, bool data type is the subtype of integer data type. So, bool data type supports only two values, those are true or false. Note that T is the capital letter in the true literal, F is the capital letter in the false literal. And boolean data type considers any non-zero value as the true and zero will be considered as a false by the boolean data type. Let me consider various examples in the interactive mode now. Now directly I am considering the type function with the true, then it will return bool. That means true is a boolean value. We can assign the boolean values to the variable as well. I am considering b1 as a variable to hold a boolean value false. Then if you display the value present in that b1, you will get the false. And if you want to get the type of that b1 variable, you will get bool. I already mentioned that any non-zero value will be considered as true by the boolean data type. That's why I am using a function bool to get the value associated with a positive number. Then I am using 100. Then boolean data type will consider that 100 as true. If I consider a negative number, then the boolean data type considers this negative number as also true. That means any non-zero value will be considered as a true by the boolean number. Then I am considering 0 with bool function, then that returns false. So that means 0 will be considered as a false by the boolean data type. So that's all guys. These are the various number data types supported by the python.